Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Also known as Hump Day because it's the middle of the week. It is the 8th of April, 2020. Want to chat with you a little bit about today about IT services companies. You know, in the past, I've talked to an awful lot about this is a great time to be interviewing other IT candidates. Well, why would you do that? Why would you interview another company right now? All too sadly, we've heard many companies failing during this COVID-19 situation. And now it's just such an awesome time to be interviewing people. You can do it through Microsoft Teams or some sort of other online video chat where it's a kind of virtual face, virtual to face to face, if you will. And it's a great time to be talking. And even if you have somebody internal that's doing your stuff, I'm sure you found out like a lot of companies that when it comes to situations like this, there's a lot of pitfalls to trying to do things internally. So with that in mind, I want to make available to you and just drop us an email, the address below, um, which we'll probably play now and at the end of this video, things you should be asking a potential partner. And I'm going to buzz through this list because it's long, so I'm just going to cut it down to some important ones. But again, I urge you to email me or email us and we'll be happy to send you a list, no charge, no obligation. We're not going to try and sell you anything. Um, things like, what are your staff's qualifications and certifications? Are they qualified? Are they certified? What do they hold? What kind of partner certifications and technical special specialties do you hold? You know, it's a great thing if you're selling a product, but do you really know it? Have you accomplished? I can tell you with all of our partners, they offer a certification program, whether it's security related, whether it's Office 365 related, you name it, they all offer certifications and we ourselves require our staff to go through that process. Do you require continuous training? You know, it's one thing to hire someone, but if you don't continuously train them and update them on their skills, you're really kind of in a bad situation. And it's really important that they maintain and upgrade their skills constantly. Customer service. Listen, everyone talks about customer service. Everyone says they're the best at customer service. But I say, you know, trust but verify. If you're talking to a potential partner, here's a tip for you. Try calling them up at two in the morning, maybe six in the morning if you wanna be a little bit kinder. What happens when you call them at that time if you need emergency help? In our world, I jokingly but seriously say, nothing, quote, interesting, end quote, happens nine to five. The rubber always hits the road, generally from nine o'clock at night till about six in the morning. That's when a lot of bad things usually happen and requires a response. So I encourage you to test them out. What service level agreements are they offering you and how will that be monitored and what kind of reporting will you get along that? It's one thing to promise a company or a business, hey, we're gonna do this and do that, but if you don't have a benchmark standard where you can deliver a report to the client, what's the point? Can you monitor our network for cyber intrusion and threats? If not, that's a real problem, isn't it? So you need to make sure that they have that capability. Do you provide backup and data recovery solutions? What's included in your disaster recovery plan? Will you provide ongoing security awareness training to our staff? Very important. You wanna make sure your staff, as an example, is versed on phishing, what to look for, what they shouldn't look, click on. That's very important. Will your IT staff, and I love this one by the way, communicate with us in plain and simple English? Nothing, no one wants to be talked to in just buzzwords or phrases or acronyms. Everyone in life, no matter what you're doing, wants to talk to people who talk in plain and simple English. And finally, and most importantly to me among customer service, right tied with that I should say is, are your people actual company employees? Are they, are they actual W-2 employees? Are they freelancers, independent contractors, fly-by-nights? In our case, all of our staff are uniformed. As you can see, I'm wearing one. I usually do in these videos. They all have ID badges. They've all been had detailed and thorough background checks. They are company employees. So when we show up at your door, you know who's walking through. We also have different certifications on security training as well as security hiring practices. So for instance, Act 151, which allows us to work in schools and daycare and more other facilities where children are involved. So hey, if you want the complete list, email's right below, drop us a line, happy to send it to you, no cost, no obligation. We're not gonna pester you with sales calls. 
do anything along that line. This is just an informational educational opportunity for you and your company. Stay well, be healthy. We'll look forward to catching up with you tomorrow on the next video. As always, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, please put them in the YouTube comments for us. Love to hear your feedback. Appreciate you tuning in. Be well.